Good morning everyone. Dear students, let us back with another concept that is ordinary derivatives of vector calculus. Here we are discussing how the ordinary derivatives are exist in vector calculus. See here. Let us consider vector r equal to vector f of t be a single valued be a single valued and continuous vector function of a scalar variable t. Of a scalar variable t. Let us take how we can interpret this geometrically. So consider a triangle OPQ. So here I am considering one triangle that is OP and Q. So here OP is vector r and it is in the form of vector f of t and this perpendicular direction is delta r and this hypotenuse gives vector r plus delta r. A small change in this condition that gives vector r plus delta r equal to vector f plus vector f of t plus delta t. Let op represents let op represents the vector vector r with respect to origin o. Therefore, vector r equal to vector f of t. Say this equation as 1. Let, let us consider delta r and delta t be the small increments small increments in vector r in r and t vector r and t respectively here let oq gives oq represent the vector vector r plus delta r right say this equation as 2 now subtracting equation one from two then it gives vector r plus delta r minus vector r equal to vector f of t plus delta t vector f of t plus delta t minus vector f of t so here the uh, r r get cancelled that's why delta r gives vector f of t plus delta t minus vector f of t got it so next by dividing by dividing both side by delta t that is change in time we get delta r divided by delta t equal to vector f of t plus delta t minus vector f of t divided by delta t got it now taking limit taking limit as delta t tends to 0. This gives limit delta t tends to 0 delta r by delta t equal to limit delta t tends to 0 vector f of t plus delta t minus vector f of t divided by delta t. Here limit delta t tends to 0 delta r by delta t can be written as dr by dt and the, this is the definition of differentiability that can be written in the form of vector df by dt. So this is our condition how the ordinary derivatives of vector calculus exist.
okay that means dr by dt is equal to d vector df by dt here vector dr by dt is called first differential coefficient of vector r with respect to t first differential coefficient of vector r with respect to t the again dr vector dr by dt is also a vector function of scalar variable t we can find its differential coefficient with respect to t then it can be denoted as second differential coefficient that is vector d square r by dt square similarly we can find it for higher order of vector r and if vector r gives f vector f of t and this can be written as f1 of t into i cap plus f2 of t into j cap plus f3 of t into k cap so in components we can write like this vector r equal to vector f of t equal to f1 of t into i cap plus f2 of t into j cap plus f3 of t into k, k cap so now differentiate this one vector dr by dt gives f1 dash of t into i cap plus f2 dash of t into j cap plus f3 dash of t into k cap again double differentiate this one or otherwise we can write it as vector dr by dt equal to what df1 by dt into i cap plus df2 by dt into j cap plus df3 by dt into k cap here f1 of t and f2 of t and f3 of t are functions whose derivatives exist got it so this is our ordinary derivative of vector calculus let us see the definition of derivative of a vector function see here a vector function of vector f of t is a scalar variable t is said to be derivable if limit delta t tends to 0 vector f of t plus delta t minus vector f of t divided by delta t exist exist and it is denoted by or we can denote it as denoted by vector df by dt or vector f dash of t so this is our definition of derivative of a vector function next we will, we will discuss continuity of a vector function so continuity of a vector function can be defined as a vector function a vector function vector f of t equal to f1 of t into i cap plus f2 of t into j cap plus f3 of t into k cap is called continuous at t continuous at t if the scalar function if the scalar function f1 of t f2 of t and f3 of t are continuous at t so you more conditions in agbeka continuous at t agirbeka or it can be written as limit delta t tends to 0 vector f of t plus delta t equal to vector f of t so this is our definition of continuity of a vector function in previous video uh, we had discussed about limit of a vector function and that can be defined as how we can define that one limit t tends to a vector f of t equal to vector l so this is our definition that is vector function f of t is a to tend to a vector l when vector t tends to a for given epsilon greater than 0 there exists a positive integer delta greater than 0 such that mod of vector f of t minus l is less than epsilon for whenever 0 is less than mod t minus a is less than delta 
so this is our required condition for limit of a function so these three are definitions of derivative of a vector function continuity of a vector function and limit of a vector function so next we will discuss algebra of limits one question fix from this next we will discuss about algebra of limits so consider the theorem if vector f of t and vector g of t are differentiable vector function of scalar variable t and pi of t is differentiable scalar function of the same variable t then d by dt of vector f plus or minus vector g gives b of vector df by dt plus or minus vector dg by dt there are two operations addition and subtraction if you if you solve first condition addition you can easily solve second one that is subtraction and second one is d by dt of vector f dot vector g equal to vector f dot vector dg by dt plus vector df by dt dot vector g. And third condition is d by dt of vector f cross vector g equal to vector f cross dg by dt plus vector df by dt cross vector g. And fourth condition is d by dt of pi dot vector f. Here pi is a constant term this gives pi dot vector df by dt plus d pi by dt dot vector f so let us solve first condition that is vector d by dt of vector f plus vector g equal to vector df by dt plus vector dg by dt so let us consider the given derivative of a function as vector g of t so this gives vector f of t plus vector g of t say this equation as 1 now put t equal to t plus delta t scalar variable t na in the change man kola katini t to t plus delta t change man kola katini then it can be written as vector g of t plus delta t equal to vector f of t plus delta t plus vector g of t plus delta t right say this equation as Okay, now subtract, subtract equation 2 minus 1. Then it gives vector g of t plus delta t minus vector g of t equal to vector f of t plus delta t minus vector, sorry, plus vector g of t plus delta t minus vector g of t and n t vector f of t plus vector g of t right so next vector g of t plus delta t minus vector g of t separate boundary vector f matha vector g na that gives vector f of t plus delta t minus vector f of t plus vector g of t plus delta t minus vector g of t so divide by divide by delta t on both side so this gives vector g of t plus delta t minus vector g of t divided by delta t equal to vector f of t plus delta t minus vector f of t plus vector g of t plus delta t minus vector g of t divided by delta t now taking limit as delta t tends to 0 on both side on both side and separating it we get 